Squeeze Box was um, a party that if me and two friends, Michael Schmidt and Mistress Formica, started out of just boredom, really, and lack of anywhere fun to go. We wanted um, a place where we could hear music we wanted to hear. At that time in New York, you know, there were places to go, but it was pretty much like segregated. Like either, if you wanted to hear rock music, you had to go to the rock venues, which were 99.9% .9 straight. And then if you wanted to hang out with gay people, you had to go to the gay clubs, which was all house music. And we didn't like the fact that you had to be with one group or the other and we wanted something mixed and after Squeezebox caught on which was only a few months I guess um, like national and international acts started playing there and wanting to play there and everyone from uh, Patty Hearst and John Waters to Tura Satana to Deborah Harry to Joe Ramone to Mick Jagger to JFK Jr. to Goldie Hawn to, I mean, the list was endless of people who came there every week. It was sick. After the Toilet Boys sort of fell apart, I sort of took a six month break. I'm doing stuff that I, I sort of wanted to do with the Toilet Boys, but we never really got a chance to. And um, it's, you know, just a lot more poppy and, um, you know, I'm just kind of exploring different avenues musically.